Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. My husband and I took a trip to South Dakota a few years ago and visited Badlands National Park. It's truly a unique, barren, yet beautiful place. One of the trails started out on a boardwalk, which ended on the opposite side of a large rock. Then as far as the eye could see, a vast landscape of rock formations spread out before us. A sign explained how to follow the trail. They had brightly colored signs with numbers. From the trailhead, we could see number one. If we kept our eyes on that sign, we could carefully pick our way across the maze of rock formations safely and see the next sign to shoot for. We had to plan our path deliberately, always being mindful of that next number that was our goal. If we lost sight of that number, we would be in huge trouble. I love hiking, but this was completely different. After following the signs, we finally reached our destination, an overlook of more buttes, spires, and pinnacles layered in colors, again as far as the eye could see. Then we turned around and followed the numbers backwards through the wilderness. When I read Proverbs 4, 25-27, it reminded me of this unique hike in the Badlands. It says, let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the path for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. The path of obedience to God isn't easy. Each step is a deliberate choice that takes thought and discipline. We can't get distracted and take side trips and do things we want, because when we do, we take our eyes off our goal and lose our way. Sometimes we struggle. I know I did as we jumped from rock to rock. I remember wondering how my husband would get me out of there if I fell into a crevice or sprained my ankle. So when he offered me a hand across a wide gap, I took it. In life, God gives us friends and traveling companions so we can help and encourage one another. So when I get stuck in a crevice of self-pity or lose sight of my goal of obeying what God has set for me to do, He sends a friend to help me out, sometimes with an encouraging text, sometimes with a promise from God's Word, and sometimes with a shoulder to cry on. Verse 27 in one version says, Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. I don't know about you, but I can easily get sidetracked. Paul reminds us in Philippians 3.14 to press toward the goal for the prize of the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus. I know I can get distracted from my call, not necessarily with evil things, but usually worthless things that don't contribute to my goal. So having friends to remind me of where I'm headed is a good thing for me. And it's good to help me stop and refocus every once in a while, fix my eyes and ponder my path to make sure I'm going in the right direction. As Hebrews 12, 2 says, we should be keeping our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, with the goal of following and obeying him. So let me challenge you today as your Christian sister to let your eyes look straight ahead Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or left. Keep your foot from evil. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.